In a game of tackles and tumbles, a helmet is essential equipment. To make one, plastic pellets are suctioned into a machine that melts and molds them into a dome shape. This fist-like device shapes the inside of the shell, which hardens in just a matter of seconds. A robot then collects it and transfers it to a conveyor. It's quite a lineup. The shells move into position for a trimming, and the extra plastic from the molding is clipped off. Next, a robot drills up to nine holes in the shell. The holes will be used to attach a liner, face guard, and various pieces of hardware. This robot works far more quickly than a human can, performing all the drilling in just 30 seconds. This is the ultimate in computerized precision. A worker collects the drilled shell and moves a new one into position for the robot. The outside of the helmet shell is roughed up with an orbital sander. This preps it for priming and painting. This factory uses a high-grade brand of automotive paint. And it takes three coats to make sure this paint job is rugged enough to survive a go on the gridiron. The helmets cure in the open air for up to 18 hours. During this time, a chemical reaction hardens the paint to a glossy finish. Not every helmet is painted. Some teams prefer tinted plastic. It all depends on the look the team is going for. Labels are attached, including safety information, trademark logos, and the date of production. This padding is made of vinyl and foam. Workers snap it in place in the crown of the helmet. The padding for the side and back is made of the same material. The back is reinforced with a plastic bumper. A helmet from each production run undergoes an impact test. It's fitted on a head-shaped form equipped with sensors, which are carefully calibrated. The technician presses a button and the helmeted head falls. This mimics the effect of a player's head hitting the ground during a tackle. The computer then measures the force of the impact on the head. Once the production run gets the okay, the face guard is attached. It's made of plastic coated steel and has been custom produced at a different factory. There are dozens of face guard styles for the player to choose from. This helmet is now looking pretty fierce, but it's not ready for action yet. It needs a chin strap and cup. This machine uses heat to transfer a foil logo onto the polyester chin straps. It also cuts them to the correct length. Once a chin cup has been sewn to the strap, the assembly is loosely fastened to the helmet. Later, it will be precisely fitted to the player's head. This helmet is now almost ready for kickoff. There's a final inspection, and then they wrap it up, complete with the manual and fitting instructions. It's taken less than a day to manufacture a football helmet that can withstand thousands of blows. Because in the game of football, protection against head injury is a victory in itself.